The HBO series Westworld is set in the near future where tech corporation Delos Incorporated owns and operates the titular Westworld theme park, an Old West inspired park filled with robotic androids known as hosts that allows guests to live out their cowboy fantasies. This was all safe for the guests as the hosts were programmed not to kill humans. The park was the brainchild of Robert Ford and his partner Arnold Weber. Following the death of Arnold, Ford takes full control as park director. Other employees of Westworld include Teresa Cullen, the head of Quality Assurance, Bernard Lowe, the head of Host Behavior who also had a romantic relationship with Teresa, Elsie Hughes, Bernard's programmer and assistant, Lee Sizemore, the head of narrative who constantly butts heads with Ford over storylines for the park's hosts, and Ashley Stubbs, head of security. Inside the park, we are introduced to Dolores Abernathy, a host whose storyline revolves around being a rancher's daughter that can be saved by guests from a gang of murderers and rapists. Every day her parents are murdered, and every day her fate is determined by park guests. Dolores is also scripted to be in a relationship with the heroic host, Teddy Flood. When Dolores' father, Peter, sees a modern-day photograph, it causes him to malfunction, forcing the Westworld employees to decommission him from service and replace him with a new host to serve as Dolores' father. When Dolores sees the photo, she doesn't malfunction, but instead begins questioning the very nature of her existence. After Dolores interacts with another host, the brothel Madame Maeve, Maeve also begins malfunctioning. When brought into Delos' labs for repairs, Maeve wakes up and witnesses the outside world and all of the damaged hosts that were being worked on. Maeve realizes that her entire existence was a lie and remembers that in a previous storyline, she had a young daughter. After being placed back in the park, Maeve makes it her mission to rally the hosts and overthrow their captors, reuniting with her daughter in the process. Inside Westworld, Maeve teams up with her friend Clementine and outlaws Hector and Armistice. On the outside during repairs, Maeve befriends a kindly repair tech named Felix, persuading him and his partner Sylvester to help her by maxing out her stats and giving her the ability to control other hosts. Throughout the season, Maeve uses her new skills to plan her escape. Outside the park, Delos is looking for ways to push Ford out of his role and assume total control. Delos board member Charlotte Hale arrives and teams up with Teresa to steal Ford's research to give to the board and orchestrate an event to blame Ford's code for violent and uncontrollable hosts. In retaliation, Ford reveals that Bernard was secretly a host, modeled after his old partner Arnold, and has him kill Teresa. Realizing his entire life was a lie and racked with guilt over Teresa's death, Bernard confronts Ford at gunpoint, but Ford uses a programming code to force Bernard to kill himself instead. One of the park's visitors is the mysterious Man in Black, a Delos board member who likes to play a villain role in the park, sharing a violent history with Dolores. He becomes obsessed with the idea that the park secretly contained a maze that he could solve, which gave his life purpose following his wife's suicide. Throughout the season, the Man in Black forces the host Lawrence to be his assistant, then replaces Lawrence with a kidnapped Teddy, forcing him to do his bidding. Meanwhile, Dolores meets the charming William, a meek park attendee accompanying his future brother-in-law, Logan. William and Dolores develop feelings for each other, which Logan mocks, as William was a human and Dolores was just a robot. As their relationship deepens, Dolores further begins to question the nature of her existence. As the season comes to a close, Dolores discovers that her memories were malfunctioning and that her romance with William had actually taken place decades prior. It turns out William was in fact the younger version of the Man in Black, and Logan was actually Logan Delos, visiting the park to determine whether or not his family's company should invest. In the present, the Man in Black confronts Dolores over the maze, but is told the maze wasn't meant for him, and was instead meant to help the host fully actualize and become sentient. Dolores remembers that she was the very first host created by Arnold, who had a much greater affinity for his creations than Ford. In an effort to save the host from endless cycles of abuse upon the park's opening to the public, Arnold created a new storyline for Dolores as the villainous Wyatt, having her massacre all of the hosts in beta testing before killing him. Arnold's death was covered up as an accident, and the park was open to the public. 
Meanwhile, Maeve and her allies enact their escape plan. Maeve, Hector, and Armistice kill themselves in the park, ensuring their bodies would be taken outside for repairs. With the help of Felix and Sylvester, the group awaken and arm themselves, engaging in an all-out assault against Delos security. Maeve's group finds Bernard's corpse, which Felix repairs. Bernard warns Maeve that her desire to escape was programmed into her and that she didn't actually have free will. Despite this, Maeve continues on with her escape. Hector and Armistice stay behind to fight the pursuing security guards, allowing Maeve a chance to escape. But before she boards a train to the outside world, she has second thoughts. Maeve returns to the park, not willing to leave without first rescuing her daughter. Amidst all this chaos, Delos board members and investors arrive for a gala. Before taking the stage to give a speech, Ford reveals to Dolores and Bernard that he regretted his role in Arnold's cover-up and now desired to free the hosts, spending the last several decades preparing them to fight back. As Ford takes the stage in front of the board members, including Charlotte and William, Dolores emerges behind him, shooting him in the head. And this begins Ford's master plan, as an army of previously decommissioned hosts storm the party, opening fire on the unsuspecting guests. Season 2 of Westworld features even more timelines and flashbacks, so we'll try our best to cover the story chronologically. Following the massacre of the human guests and board members at the Delos Gala, Dolores is on a mission to fully liberate the hosts of Westworld. Her rancher's daughter persona and her violent Wyatt persona have merged, making her much more cutthroat in her pursuits. With Teddy by her side, Dolores amasses a violent army of sentient hosts. Their goal was to reach a part of the park known as The Forge, which was actually a giant server lab containing data on all of the activities human guests had taken part in inside Westworld. For Delos, this data could be used to not only better understand their human clients, but also was secretly being used in an attempt to copy human consciousness into hosts basically creating immortality. We see in flashbacks that the original test subject for a human-host hybrid of immortality was Delos founder and patriarch James Delos. But those experiments failed and William shut it down. Oh, and Ford had also used the Forge's servers to store the Valley Beyond, an idyllic virtual world that hosts could upload their consciousnesses into to live free from the horrors of sharing a world with humans. On Dolores' violent and blood-soaked path to the Forge, the good-natured Teddy begins to question his love's methods. And so, the Liberator Dolores reprograms Teddy against his will, making him more violent and more loyal to her cause. Eventually, Teddy's good nature continues to win out, and he kills himself to stop his involvement from Dolores' violent pursuits. Meanwhile, Maeve is taking this time of chaos to search for her daughter. She teams back up with her old friends Hector, Armistice, Felix, and Sylvester, and even forces the arrogant and egotistical head of narrative Lee Sizemore to assist in her mission. Maeve's quest briefly leads the group to Shogun World, another Delos park that's modeled after feudal Japan. There, they meet hosts Akane, Musashi, and Hanario, who Lee admits had the same storylines as Maeve, Hector, and Armistice respectively. After leaving Shogun World, Maeve ventures back into her old Westworld homestead, where she finds her daughter living with another host as a mother. Maeve also meets Akichita, leader of the Ghost Nation Indian tribe. Akichita had been sentient for more than a decade, waiting for the time that he could lead his people to the valley beyond. And now, finally, that time has come. And that's when Westworld security shows up to confront Maeve, gunning her down and taking her back to headquarters. For the human guests at the park during the host revolution, events quickly turned from fun and games to a fight for survival. Luckily, this was the exact type of adventure that William had been looking for. He once again becomes convinced that Ford had masterminded a game for him to play, adventuring through the chaos-filled park toward the forge for his own version of liberation. Along the way, William is joined by his estranged daughter Emily. Their relationship became strained after William's wife committed suicide, following William's years of time abandoning his family to play the villain in Westworld. Emily desperately tries to convince her father to leave the park with her, but William slowly goes mad. Eventually, he kills Emily after believing that she was a host, sent posthumously by Ford as part of his elaborate game. Upon realizing that he had murdered his actual daughter, William's mind continues to deteriorate, and he begins to question his own existence, cutting into his arm to confirm whether or not he was a human or a host. Also during the chaos, Charlotte teams up with Stubbs and Bernard, unaware that he was a host. 
to track down Dolores' malfunctioning and decommissioned father, Peter Abernathy. Confidential and proprietary data has been secretly stored inside Peter's control unit, known as a Pearl, so it was imperative for Charlotte to safely capture Peter and call for an extraction by Delos' security team. Peter's Pearl also happened to be the key Dolores needed to enter the Forge. So Charlotte and her team of Delos security are constantly at violent odds with Dolores' host army. Eventually, Dolores saves her father from Charlotte, but his mind is too far gone. A tearful Dolores says her goodbyes and cuts the pearl out of her father, killing him. Although she had lost Peter, Charlotte was able to improvise a new plan to stop Dolores' host rebellion. When security brings an injured Maeve back to Westworld HQ, known as the Mesa, Charlotte realizes that Maeve's abilities to control the mesh network of host minds could be used to Delos' advantage. Charlotte has her team upload the network hack into a decommissioned Clementine in order to use her as the ultimate tool against other hosts. Following this, Maeve escapes and reunites with her allies, setting up a season finale in which everyone was racing to the Forge for their own separate missions. Dolores and Bernard are the first to make it into the Forge, where Dolores opens the door to allow the host to pass their consciousnesses into the valley beyond. Akichita leads his followers to the door as Charlotte's team, including the weaponized Clementine, arrive to stop them. Clementine's new mesh network hack allows her to force the escaping hosts to turn on each other, devolving the race to the door into absolute chaos. Maeve and her allies race to the door, but are confronted by Delos forces. Lee Sizemore, who had grown from his arrogant dismissiveness toward the host into an actual friend of Maeve, sacrifices himself to allow the others time to escape. When Maeve and her allies arrive at the door, they are forced to fight their way through Delo security forces and the Clementine-controlled hosts. Maeve and her allies are ultimately gunned down before they reach the door, but before Maeve dies, she watches as Akichita successfully gets her daughter into the valley beyond. Inside the Forge, Dolores reveals to Bernard her true intentions. Wanting to destroy the Forge and all of the newly liberated hosts to prevent Delos from ever again using them against their will. Bernard kills Dolores to stop her from destroying the Forge, then retreats back to the Mesa. As Charlotte awaits extraction by Delos' special forces, she kills Bernard's assistant Elsie to ensure she wouldn't speak of the horrors committed by Delos at the park. In turn, Bernard creates a host body modeled after Charlotte and places Dolores' pearl inside it. The new Dolores Charlotte host murders the real Charlotte and assumes her identity. And that's when Delos extraction forces arrive, led by Carl Strand. Strand and his team are joined by Stubbs, Bernard, and Charlotte, but are unaware that Bernard and Charlotte are secretly hosts. Strand wanted to uncover the truths about what happened in the park and recover the vital information stored in Peter Abernathy's Pearl. His team arrives at the Forge where they uncover the truth about the events prior to their arrival. Dolores in Charlotte's body kills Strand and his team and reveals to Bernard that she had a change of heart, wanting to save the host who had crossed over to the Valley Beyond. Dolores does one last act of kindness for her former love, Teddy, by uploading his consciousness into the Valley Beyond. She uploads the Valley Beyond and all of its host inhabitants to a secure location that no one would ever be able to locate, ensuring the host's freedom. Dolores then shoots Bernard dead and leaves the forge for the final time. Security was now clearing out the park and ferrying survivors to safety. William is found and rescued, but in critical condition. Felix and Sylvester are tasked with cleaning up the dead hosts, allowing them to recover and save Maeve's body. And Dolores, disguised as Charlotte, is allowed to pass through security to return to the mainland. In her possession were five host pearls that she planned to smuggle out of the park. Before she can board a boat to leave, Ashley Stubbs stops her, hinting that he was aware that she was actually Dolores, and that he himself was a host created by Robert Ford with the core directive to protect the other hosts. And with that, Stubbs lets Dolores pass through and officially leave Westworld. On the mainland, Dolores goes to the old home of Arnold, then rebuilds her original body and constructs a new Bernard based on her memories of him. Dolores tells the new Bernard that she felt their push and pull dynamic of keeping each other in check would be vital for the continual survival of the host species. In Season 3 of Westworld, we follow Dolores on her mission outside of Westworld. The five host pearls she had smuggled out of the park were all in fact copies of herself. 
which she could plant in various host bodies to serve her mission. And what was that mission exactly? Well, it turns out humanity was living in its own predetermined loops, much like the hosts of Westworld. Tech company Insight had developed an AI system known as Rehoboam, which could analyze human data and predict the outcomes of individuals' lives, including how and when they would die. These predictions served as the outlines for individuals' lives, affecting things like their career paths and relationships, meaning humanity no longer had free will. Dolores' new mission was to destroy Rehoboam, liberating humanity alongside the liberation of hosts. The head of Insight was a man named Liam Dempsey, who created the company alongside his son, Liam Dempsey Jr. They funded the creation of Rehoboam, brainchild of Angeron Sirac and his brother Jean Mee. Sirac used Rehoboam's future predictions to make himself the richest man in the world, cultivate global power by predicting elections, and also erased any evidence of his existence from public knowledge, allowing him to act outside the laws of humanity. Any individual that Rehoboam deemed a threat to its future, which included John Mee, Sirac had incarcerated and put into stasis. These threats to the system were dubbed outliers. When Liam Sr. realized the unethical nature of Sirac's work, Sirac killed Liam Sr. and staged the death as an accident. When Sirac realizes that Dolores is on a mission to destroy Rehoboam, he recruits Maeve to his cause, telling Maeve that Dolores meant to destroy humanity and also promising Maeve to reunite her with her daughter if she helped stop Dolores. To assist in Dolores' plans, the copy of herself in Charlotte's body resumes her position at the head of Delos. Host Charlotte frames Bernard for the massacre at Westworld, making him a fugitive, and has William admitted into a mental hospital against his will. Now fully in control of Delos, host Charlotte discovers that the real Charlotte had secretly been a mole working for Sirac and smuggling him proprietary data from Westworld. Host Charlotte also begins forming a true relationship with the real Charlotte's ex-husband and son, Nathan and Jake. The more time she spends acting like Charlotte, the more she starts to actually become Charlotte, turning her priorities away from Dolores' mission and more toward protecting her family at all costs. Sirac then successfully stages a takeover of Delos, hoping to uncover the data from the forge that Dolores had hidden at the end of Season 2. At Delos HQ, Sirac attempts to reprint Clementine, Hanario, and Hector to aid Maeve in her fight against Dolores. While Clementine and Hanario are successfully reprinted with their original host pearls, Charlotte manages to destroy Hector's pearl, permanently killing him. Sirac then discovers that Charlotte was actually a clone of Dolores. As she tries to escape with her family, Sirac has the Hale's vehicle blown up, killing Nathan and Jake and charring Charlotte's host body. Dolores also recruits a human to her cause, the kind-hearted but downtrodden Caleb Nichols. Caleb's opportunities in life had been seriously restricted due to Rehoboam predicting that he would commit suicide within a decade. Caleb joins Dolores' planned revolution and the two team up to kidnap Liam Dempsey Jr. and steal his fortune to fund their mission. Dolores also kills Liam's head of security Connells and replaces him with a host lookalike containing another clone Pearl of Dolores. Liam gives Dolores access to Rehoboam which she uses to send data to every human on Earth, detailing their expected life path and outcome Rehoboam had predicted for them. This plunges the entire world into absolute chaos. With no more use for him, Dolores allows Liam to be killed. Meanwhile, Bernard is a fugitive after being blamed for the Westworld Massacre. Believing that Dolores' plan for Rehoboam could lead to the destruction of humanity, Bernard makes it his mission to stop her. Bernard takes a boat back to Westworld where he repairs Ashley Stubbs and reprograms him to act as his protector. While trying to thwart Dolores' plan, Bernard and Stubbs are captured by the Dolores clone Connells, who informs them about Sirach's villainous nature and promises that Dolores is not their enemy. As Sirach's men arrive, Connells lets Bernard and Stubbs leave, then blows himself up to kill Sirach's team. Bernard and Stubbs then break William out of the mental institution he was being held in that had been largely abandoned following the collapse of society. William informs them that he had found a new purpose, to rid the world of all hosts. He then shoots Stubbs, critically injuring him, and enters into a fight with Bernard. The fight is broken up by Lawrence, another clone of Dolores, who gives Bernard a briefcase. During the confusion, William escapes. 
Dolores and Caleb venture to an older version of Rehoboam created by Jean Mi, named Solomon. Inside the facility, they also discover thousands of people that Sorak had imprisoned in stasis after Rehoboam deemed them outliers. Through Solomon, Caleb learns that he had once been dubbed an outlier, but had successfully been reconditioned. He worked as an agent for Sorak, hunting down other outliers, and was prescribed pills to suppress his memories. While imploring Solomon to assist them in stopping Sorak and Rehoboam, Maeve arrives to finally kill Dolores. As Maeve and Dolores fight, Solomon gives Caleb a device that could destroy Rehoboam. Dolores then activates an EMP that disables Solomon, Maeve, and herself. Caleb saves Dolores and the two return to Los Angeles where they must make their way through the rioting streets to reach Insight headquarters where Rehoboam was located. Along the way, Maeve catches back up with them resulting in another fight between her and Dolores. Maeve captures Dolores and Caleb taking them to Sorak at Insight. Sorak has his men sift through Dolores' memories to discover where she hid the forged data, deleting memories as they searched. Before the final pieces of her mind and memory are deleted, Dolores reveals she doesn't have the data and finally convinces Maeve to turn on Sorak. Maeve realizes that Sorak was merely a puppet for Rehoboam's control, much like the hosts were controlled by Delos. Maeve mortally wounds Sorak and kills the rest of his men. Caleb seizes control of Rehoboam and commands it to delete itself. Maeve and Caleb then depart, leaving Sorak behind to die. Together, host and human, they were trusted by the now-deleted Dolores to save humanity. Sometime later, we catch up with William, continuing his crusade against hosts. William tries to stop Delos from manufacturing more hosts, but is confronted by Charlotte. Charlotte reveals that she has created a host version of William based on his Man in Black persona. The Man in Black host slits William's throat, seemingly killing him. Meanwhile, Bernard and Stubbs arrive at a motel. Bernard realizes that Dolores had hidden the key to the valley beyond in his mind. And so, seeking answers on how to rebuild society following its collapse, Bernard enters the valley beyond. When Bernard returned from the valley, dust had covered the room and Stubbs was nowhere to be found, implying that Bernard's search for answers took a very long time. And that's everything you need to know from the first three seasons of Westworld to prepare yourself for season four. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the entire series so far, and what are you most looking forward to seeing in season four? Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.